Kicking the Kosher. I'm your host, Dale. And uh, with me today, I have a special guest with me. I have actually my cousin, Terry, from Wilkes County, which is Piedmont, North Carolina. And, yeah, she's not from here. And, uh, yeah, you know, for some of your cousins, you may say, you know what? We don't clamor. Well, I clamor. <laughs> I claim her. <laughs> She's actually good. Actually, you also went to uh, you went to Marshall for college, and you also uh, from there went on to Appalachian State. And we all know that Appalachian State is the only university and sports team with the football to win three back-to-back -back championships. Yeah. <laughs> Appalachian Mountaineers. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of the Appalachian Mountaineers. Appalachian is known for some of the great fruit that we have here. Now, Terry showed me this picture because, you know, she's been watching some of our videos with Kicking the Coast and she's been interested with Kicking Now, she knows she's she's not Jewish. She doesn't follow the, the kosher stuff. She's learning because she wants to learn the best ways and the right ways to eat. So I've been teaching her and, and telling her stuff about it. And uh, like a good student, she listens and she goes studies. And she actually said, I would love to do a video with you one day. And I'm like, okay. Well, then she shows me this picture, and it's all this, you know, I love color. You know, I, I just love color. And I've seen this color, and it's like a big bowl of skills. And I'm like, oh, yeah, taste the rainbow. And she says, actually, that's what it's called. It's a fruit, it's a rainbow fruit salad. So, Terry, we have right here amongst us, a, what's the word, plethora? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know those big words that people use, Great but... <laughs> palette of color. Yeah, so, um, but we have a lot of color right here. Now, we have already cut up, for, for Tom's sake, we already cut up a, a pineapple, some kiwi. We got these little baby, like, orange thingies. Uh, we have some strawberries. Now, we have one whole pineapple. How many kiwis? We have four kiwi. Okay, now how many of these little baby orange we things? Have, um, we have four little cuties but you can cuties, use man yeah. yeah kitties mandarin oranges they yeah. would actually be better little baby yeah, little yeah. Baby orange and that's just what i had on hand yeah. and now the strawberries we use 12 ounces strawberries, 12 ounces strawberries. now what we didn't have to cut up and we're just going to add to or you're going to add to the salad is we have um what are those called uh, the raspberries. raspberries the raspberries we have what, some uh pack of blackberries yeah, six ounces of blackberries and then we have 12 ounces of blueberries. 12 ounces of blueberries. Now, also, we're just going to go on top. We have two uh, mm -hmm. two bananas that you're actually going to uh, put on top, along with the, the two limes mm -hmm. here and some honey. Now, to top that off, we also have ch -ch 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 chia seeds. Chia seeds. Chia Good seeds. for you. And we all know about the, the everything here is... Uh, and that's why we're teaching her about the kosher. You know, what is kosher? Everything we have here is kosher. It uh, produces its own uh, seed and its own fruit and everything. So I'm ready. I don't know about y'all, but I am ready to dig in on this. And, uh, and you said you had a special way to cut these bananas up. So we'll I, see. So I'll tell you what. I'm going to go ahead over here and sit in the guest, the, the guest, the guest seat. <laughs> and I'm going to watch Terry uh, put this beautiful rainbow salad together. So we'll be right back. All right, we're back, and I am in the guest seat, and I'm over here, actually, it's not my wife, it's not me, it is my cousin Terry, and yes, she's making a rainbow, taste the rainbow, salad, so Terry, go ahead and show us what you got here. Okay, we are going to make a concoction that goes on top of the salad, and then mix all in the salad with the honey. This is and honey. The lines. The so first of all, we're going to cut. We're going to slice the lines. Slice the other one, and then I have a little glass under my juicer, which is probably 50 years old. And we'll pour the juice out. It's pretty cool. See. Nothing in there, but just the brine. Now, have you made this before? I have. You have. I've made it twice. Oh. You, you saw the picture, right? Oh, that was your picture. That's oh. my picture. Oh, yeah. we're in for a treat. 
Wish these lines were bigger, but this is all the store had, so I'm not getting a lot of juice out of it, but we are getting some, and it will be just fine. Because this lime juice is going to keep the bananas from turning brown. Okay. Now, we'll take the lime juice. Basically, and, that's enough of good smell. Yes. Mm. Get the rest of that lime juice in there. Put it in the sink. Mix the lime juice with the honey. What that reminds me of. Yes. Grandma's cough syrup. Oh, <laughs> yes. Would you like to stir the honey? Yeah, I'll do the stir here. You stir that honey while I yeah, take like care of the bananas. <laughs> well, actually, before I do that, I'm going to mix everything together in this dish. And we'll start with this beautiful plate of pineapple, kiwi, oranges, and strawberries. We'll add some raspberries to it. Mmm. It's looking so pretty and colorful. And then some blackberries. Just dump the whole thing in there. Mm. Blueberries. This would be good on a on a have on a picnic or a big gather a family reunion. Mm -hmm. It will. Nice and cold, chilled. Well, this was something oh, that yes. you could use also use for a Fourth of July. With the, with the switch with the colors, we get the red, white, right. and, and the, the blue into it. Exactly. Now we're going to cut up the banana. I'm going to slice it. I just sliced off the ends, and I'm slicing the peel. And here we go. Don't she look so professional? Da -da. Da -da. Banana, banana, banana. <laughs> Small pieces. Now, how incorporated does this honey and the lemon got to be? Uh, there's half probably cup. about a half a cup of honey, and there should be about four tablespoons of lime juice. Okay, and then it's really, really mixed well. Yes, really mixed well. And so, so I like to add the bananas on top, and then pour that juice, the honey and the lime juice, on top of them so that they will be the first thing to soak up the lime juice. Okay, final banana. Now, you make this for your mom and dad? No, <laughs> they have not tasted this yet. I guess I probably should. I know that's, that's bad. I made it right after, um, actually a friend made it for me. I had gotten all the ingredients, but it was right after I had surgery on my foot. I wanted something to try to heal my body. And I knew that pineapple would help take away inflammation. Mm -hmm. So I knew that would be good for me. And all the different colors has a different, um, nutrients and um, everything that you need basically now, and now well I may have been the motorcycle wreck Terry was also in a car wreck where she was uh, injured and stuff so yeah so she's trying to and she's still healing up after all this time uh, since 1986 so yes um you know I never knew exactly what you went through until I had this motorcycle wreck man I tell you what it's it's just an ongoing process and everything. But that's one thing I found, one thing that actually saved my life was, was I was already eating kosher. So that's why I was already healing up and I couldn't understand, you know, why is he already healing up so quick? You know, because my body was already set to go in and right. uh, repair itself. So, yes, so that's one thing I keep encouraging. I, can, I'm going to keep on encouraging you. Eat healthy, eat kosher, uh, eat what the Bible says to eat. And your body will regenerate itself. It's, it's, it's a common thing. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, and I'm already tell you what, I, I can't say as, as much for this sale when it comes to that it's going to be able to regenerate itself because when I get through digging into it, <laughs> it's going to 
be nothing to it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're almost finished with the salad. And here goes the chia seeds. Ch -ch chia. Ch -ch 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 now, we have to make a head with this for it to start growing out on it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much we use my hands. They've been washed, they're clean. Okay, honey, and lime okay. juice, please. Well, you know me, I was in the military, so hands ain't gonna bother me as long as they just, uh, mm. long as they've been washed beforehand. So. Oh, yeah, they've I'm been ready washed. To dig in. I'm telling you what, this is looking good. Times. All you can't probably see the colors from, from, from that distance, but right here, I mean, all. Mm. Yeah, I just wanted to put the chia seeds in there you know, uh, for the protein and, and fiber Catherine, and all Catherine that. Say, uh, this is what it looks like right now. Yeah. Right now. Before we <laughs> mix it all. Oh, I can't wait because I know how good this Ooh, is. It's looking good. I've had so many compliments on it from the people who have eaten it. And it looks like there's a tremendous amount in here. Oh, fruit. And there is. But the, um, if it sets a day or two, we'll kind of like, you know, some of the juice will come out. And, mm, oh, it's just so good. Mm. It's sort of like shrink, I suppose. Uh, and then okay. you can put it in smaller containers. All right, are I'll we tell ready you what now? I'm gonna do. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and take a break. And we're going to let her go ahead and uh, finish doing this and then clean I'm up. Through. And we'll be right back. So we'll be right back with you. Hey, we're back. And uh, Terry, oh my goodness. You have outdone yourself. Look at this. Mm. Have you helped? Um, taste the rainbow. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, and that look like Skittles, all different kinds of colors. The reds, the mm. yellows, um, the blues. The blues, I tell you, just mm. look. Mm. Orange. Uh, the chia seed. Uh, oh, man, I can't wait. Okay, well, I got some, uh, uh, what about here? I'm going to taste a little bit of this. I'm going little blackberry here. Um, Strawberry. I can't get on one on the on the spoon. Go on. Mmm. You like that? Go for the pineapple and strawberry. Mmm. Oh, oh it's so sweet. Mmm. With the uh, the it's honey so and the and the lemons mm. actually. Oh no, that. Let's see. I want a kiwi this time. Some green. Come on, get on the spoon. <laughs> you can get on that spoon. Um, actually, this is good. It's mm. sweet. It's mm. tangy. It's tart. Mm. It's fruit. Yeah, of uh, course, it's fruity. It's, it's fruit. It's delicious. Now, I didn't even get. Was there a banana in here? I didn't see it. Yeah. The, there's That's the banana. banana. Yeah, I gotta try a banana with the. I really don't like raspberry, but. Um, Ooh, there's one you can handle it. You can do it. Mm. Oh man. It's so just a special combination of fruits. Your bet your berries are really, really good for you. That banana and that pineapple kick that whole thing off. And you use that distinct flavor. Here's a banana. Try the banana. Yeah, try the banana. You see what I'm saying? It's got that it gives that distinct mm. flavor. Mm -hmm. That is so good. Thank you, you know, Del. That would be good if, if you took all this actually and made a jelly of it. Oh, you know what? It would. Mm. Okay. You might, Maybe you're one gonna of these have to steps. try that and let me know how it is. No, you'll have to try that and let me know how it is. <laughs> well, I don't make jelly, so I'm yeah. eating too. It's been long. Uh, uh, there we go. Um, again, we have blackberry, blueberry, raspberry, strawberry, banana, uh, kiwi. What, else, what am I missing here? It's orange. And the orange. <laughs> yeah, and the orange. So, uh, man, I'm telling you, that's good flavor. I can't wait to have this. You know what? I can't wait to get a bowl of this, but I have to say that for dessert. And you're like, uh, mm -hmm. dessert? What do you mean dessert? What do you mean dessert? Yeah, exactly. Uh, she doesn't what? know yet, but uh, when uh, she uh, she comes here, she says she wants to do this. I kind of did a little surprise for her because she was supposed to be with me to film the... Uh, the Cubano sandwiches, and she needed to be here because uh, she had family matters, matters to take care of. So I actually went ahead and fixed a roast to make Cubanos with. So we are going to dig in here in a minute. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't wait because so, I was looking so forward to that. Thank you. But just yeah, for so, me, so I'm special. Out the, uh, the the stuff, and we're making some Cubano sandwiches, and we're gonna have this 
taste the rainbow salad for dessert. Thank you for watching. Uh, for my beautiful host, <laughs> Terry, and for myself, thank you for watching Kicking and Coaching. And thank you for inviting me. Shalom.